Hey everybody, it's me, CC Trubiak, and welcome back to CC's Vinyl Closet. Here's where I just love listening to a lot of old classic country music on vinyl record and sharing the gospel of whatever I've learned with you guys. So if this sounds like your kind of thing, go grab a cup of hot coffee or tea, find yourself a comfy place to sit, and get ready because today I have a very special installment featuring none other than Bobby Gentry. You ready for this? If I keep referring to that wicked classic country CD compilation that I had during my teens in the 1990s, forgive me. <laughs> but it's where I first discovered a lot of the stuff that I'm only further exploring today. Take Bobby Gentry's Ode to Billy Joe, for example, which was definitely on that compilation, and it definitely always stuck with me. But more on that later. In recent times, I've gathered a handful of Bobby Gentry records that I've just been waiting to finally listen to within all of the gold that I have here, and I've finally made it happen. Now that I've dived deeper, what can I say about the gospel of Bobby Gentry? I'll try to tell you. Roberta Lee Streeter, AKA Bobby Gentry, was born in Chickasaw County, Mississippi in 1942, and she is currently retired. She rose to international fame in 1967, but as I've read, it seems that her life has been shadowed in mystery and half-truths. Following her parents' separation, she grew up in poverty and was raised by grandparents on their Mississippi Delta farm. She'd carefully observed the pianist at the Baptist church that she attended as a child and picked up on how to play piano, self-taught. Story has it that her grandmother exchanged a milk cow for an old upright piano. I mean, this literally sounds like a song. Through her teens, she kept up guitar alongside banjo and bass. In the late 1950s, she began performing at local nightclubs, which is where she adopted the stage name Bobby Gentry. She even majored in philosophy in university while continuing with music. Now, I admire that kind of drive. This is when Bobby signed to Capitol Records after a demo of her original work found its way to the right people. She began recording, and from what I now know, she released seven albums between 1967 to 1971. Yes, seven albums in five years. The last time she performed in public was at the Academy of Country Music Awards in 1982. She was 39 years old at the time. Since then, she has not recorded, performed, or been interviewed. She's all but disappeared. And despite being a pioneer for women in pop music, her unavailability seems to only have enhanced her mystique. I have so many thoughts about her myself, but this is about the gospel of her music first and foremost. So although I do proudly have three of these seven Bobby Gentry records, today I'm mainly going to hone in on that masterpiece that is her debut record from 1967, Ode to Billy Joe, Capitol Records. Bobby Gentry was 23 years old at the time, and she wrote and produced her own material. It contains 10 songs for which she wrote, and before I get into any specifics here, I'm gonna say that this isn't just a straight up country album. Not in that Nashville traditional sense, no way. This record's vibe contains an almost up-tempo jazz sound in some ways, sometimes lush, definitely haunting with its use of string arrangements, and her vocals are poised, husky throughout, authenticity in abundance. Much like when I listened to Marty Robbins' gunfighter ballads and trail songs, I felt almost transported into a cinematic experience while listening to the stories within all of these songs. Take, for instance, the opening track, Mississippi Delta, which I can really only say is like a raw, throaty, swampy, rock-sounding country song. Catchy as all be, too. See? 
I read that Mississippi Delta was the B-side to the hit Ode to Billy Joe, and it did not chart. But hey, it's catchy. Speaking of catchy, the song Chickasaw County Child is a song about a little girl with style and dreams. And Bobby's lyrics are engaging. Makes Southern singing sure sound good. Just outside of Delta country where the bitter weeds grow and wild. Born seven miles outside of Woodland was a Chickasaw County child. And Papa done brought some peppermint candy. Mama fixed her custard pie. Bought her a store bought doll from Jackson. She's the apple of everyone's eye. Chickasaw County child. These songs, this album, her voice, all have style. And I guess it couldn't have hurt her to have style for fashion either. I love all the photographs of her. And I've read that all of her clothes were her own designs too. How cool! Speaking of style, the song Sunday Best is a cute love song with an almost Burt Bacharach-esque take. I quite like. When I'm walking hand in hand with you I've got my yellow parasol Rivets covered blue Shiny patent leather shoes Brand new, nothing but my Sunday best for you. Oh, it's such a pleasure I can hardly speak. Each day is a treasure. It's Sunday each day of the week. I will give you all my love, so true. Nothing but my Sunday best will do. Nothing but my Sunday best for you. Now, I mean, the entire record's quite a unique look into the world via the lens of a woman like Bobby Gentry, alluring and mysterious. Which brings me, of course, to that number one hit song, Ode to Billy Joe, which, if you didn't know this, is the song that helped this album displace the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper album from its 15-week reign at the top of the charts. Now, listen to this, my friends. This mystery, created by Bobby Gentry, is set to a backing of spare acoustic guitar chords and some atmospheric strings, and Bobby's sensuous voice relating a story of two Mississippi teenage lovers who share a dark secret that eventually leads to the boy, Billy Joe McAllister's suicide. It was the 3rd of June, another sleepy, dusty Delta day. I was out chopping cotton and my brother was baling hay. And at dinner time we stopped and walked back to the house to eat. And Mama hollered out the back door, y'all remember to wipe your feet. And then she said, I got some news this morning from Choctaw Ridge. Today, Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Ode to Billy Joe was recorded in 1967. Cellos and violins filled in to fit her unique guitar playing. 
Gentry may notoriously be reclusive today, but I love a great quote that I read from her back in the day when she said, The song is sort of a study in unconscious cruelty, but everybody seems more concerned with what was thrown off the bridge than they are with the thoughtlessness of the people expressed in the song. What was thrown off the bridge really isn't that important. Everybody has a different guess about what was thrown off the bridge. Flowers, a ring, even a baby. Anyone who hears the song can think what they want. But the real message of the song, if there must be a message, revolves around the nonchalant way the family talks about the suicide. They sit there eating their peas and apple pie and talking, without even realizing that Billy Joe's girlfriend is sitting at the table, a member of the family. And me, I spend a lot of time digging flowers up on Choctaw Ridge And drop them into the muddy water off the Tallahatchie Bridge Folks, I highly recommend that you check out this song or any number of the songs on this album. The enigma of her best-known song apparently is nothing compared to that of Bobby Gentry herself. The song Ode to Billy Joe won her three Grammy Awards, including Best New Artist. And get this, she was the first country artist to ever win this category. I'll end here. Back in 1967, at the time that Bobby released this incredible album, she was among some great company in terms of the other pioneering ladies who she'd have released albums alongside of. In 1967, women like Wilma Burgess, Loretta Lynn, Tammy Wynette, Dolly Parton, Jan Howard, and Connie Smith all released fine albums that I've covered right here at CC's Vinyl Closet. Go girls, go! Now what are your thoughts on Bobby Gentry and her music? Drop your comments below and thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button and until next week's installment of CC's Vinyl Closet, take care of you and take sweet comfort in the music.